What's up? It's uh, Keith, and today I skipped class. I didn't mean to, but I woke up, I got ready. Well, I was already late, but I got ready, and I just didn't feel like going. Like, I started out at the door, and then I just couldn't get myself to go to class. I... <laughs> kept telling myself to but I just didn't have the motivation and I'm not gonna baby myself beat myself up sorry <coughs> beat myself up about it but I do feel bad I mean I could have gone and I've already missed like two weeks to be honest because like I had a cold like a really bad cold and I just need to recover and then I had a depression spell and it's just not something I want to share with my mommy you know not something I want to share with my family who is paying for me to go to college because I don't want to be a disappointment, you know? Also, I know I'm going to get plenty of comments about it. So it's just, yes, I am showing off. <laughs> it's going to be part of my brand now. I'm just the guy with titties. <laughs> a bit random. Anyway, I think it'll help me get views, you know? It, it already has. Actually, I just did a TikTok live the other day where I showed my chest like this, maybe a little bit more, but not like full nude. No. But I just, I just want to see what happened. I like to surprise people with my trans, my transness, which is always surprising to people for some reason. Like you'd think people could know that bodies aren't binary. I don't have a binary body, as in I don't have a strictly male body. But whatever, <laughs> I consider myself completely male, so maybe I do have a binary body. I mean, I'm a binary trans man, after all. But anyway, back to my TikTok live the other day. I went live, and first it was just a few of my followers who were watching. And then it became a bunch of randoms. I went kind of viral. Like, I got over a thousand likes, I got hundreds of different viewers, but they weren't very kind. No, they were not. They were out for blood. They saw my chest, and they saw my face, and my, my masculinity, and at the same time, my femininity. In a way that you can't dispute. It's not just like putting on some lipstick. It's my whole body that's gender non-conforming. And when you have something so deeply trans, you get some deep transphobia. And I'm glad I'm confident. Otherwise... <laughs> Some of those comments would be soul crushing. I feel bad for the younger people on TikTok. I'm 20, by the way. So, I, I'm i used to it. I don't even really care anymore. But it just makes me sad for all the younger trans people out there that have to deal with all this online bullying. You know? Because I got comments like, oh, look at your stretch marks. Which, I like my stretch marks, by the way. I would show you where they are right now if it wouldn't fully expose me. <laughs> yeah. I've just, I've decided I'm kind of in my hoe phase. 
<laughs> I've been dating around. I've been exploring for that's for sure. I use the app Grinder, which is uh, a bit sketchy. It's pretty sketchy, actually. I mean, it's a bunch of mainly older guys. And I'm not really into that, but I won't lie. I've had plenty of experiences with them. If my family's watching, oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm giving you so many reasons to worry about me. But I'm a big boy and I'm making my own decisions and I don't want anybody to feel responsible for me. And if you feel that way, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm kinda risky as a person. And that's okay. Anyway. Yeah, I've been exploring my sexuality in the obvious ways. And exploring friendships too. Like, it's almost harder for me to make friends than to just hit and run, you know? <laughs> And it's not like I'm being rude about it. It's the established connection that we had. It was agreed upon or implied that it could be a one-time thing and not see them again. And that's interesting. As a gay trans man, well, I'm a bi trans man. I've decided I'm a bi trans man. I... People like me. People like my body, which I was most scared about because I'm not typical. But that's my strongest point, too. That's my strongest point because people don't. Well, people are interested in things that aren't normal. People are interested in people that aren't. And I'm grateful for that. I like to be a spectacle. I mean, <laughs> it brings the wrong kind of attention sometimes. But at the same time, it brings curiosity. And people open their minds a bit when they interact with you. Because they kind of have to. If you're talking to an anomaly, then you have to open your mind. Or else... You're just going to deny reality. The reality is... I am not... A typical man. <laughs> and I never will be. I don't even know if I want top surgery at this point. Yeah. I'm so far, far behind on homework right now. It's pretty upsetting to me because I just can't make myself do it. I just recently increased my ADHD meds, my dosage, because I can't get the motivation to do things. You see my clothes up there all in a pile. The rest of my room's the same way, and I'm far behind in class, and I don't know if it's my lack of interest in the subject, or if it's just my ADHD, because I did find it interesting in class, but it's still not exactly what I want to learn what I want to learn and that's kind of scary 
I might switch classes, but I don't see a class that's particularly interesting to me. I want to learn videography, maybe, for YouTube. But that feels kind of silly to go to college for YouTube. But at the same time, why not? You know? Thanks for watching. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, <coughs> OnlyFans. <coughs> I, oh my god, I can't believe if my family ever watches these videos, they're going to be so disappointed. And I just got to be okay with that. Anyway, OnlyFans. <laughs> um, also, Twitter, if you are over 18 and stuff. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you relate to me. Thanks.